What's going on guys? Well, thanks for coming back to my YouTube. As you know, my name is Josh Russell, professional photographer, YouTuber, I'll teach you guys a little bit of tips and tricks about photography, product reviews, stuff like that. This is kind of a combination of both. Uh, I have Crystal here. Crystal's helped me with a, a wedding and going to be working alongside me with some other stuff. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how I do neon light photography. I guess you could call it. There's not really a, a good name for it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Sony a7R4 that I just bought. And no flash on it, no controller. You guys know that I like to use strobe and off-camera flash. I'm doing something different tonight. So I'm going to use this uh, one hour photo sign at Murray Photo and uh, just use the orange from that. There's a little bit of green that's going to shine down too. But I'm also going to, on the other side, I'm going to use my Savage LED light painter and I'm just going to light her up from the other side with blue. So that you can pick up. I do have a actual product review of this, but you can check this out online. It's like $160 for this thing, but I'm just gonna shoot and create a little bit with this orange on one side and then the blue on the other. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. I kind of already have my settings set up, but I will walk through it quickly. If you like this video, please remember to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up, the bell notification, all that good stuff. Also leave me a comment where you're from. It's a little cold out here, so if you see my breath, that's why it's like 35 degrees, 38 degrees, something like that. So we're gonna get right into it. Also, if you like the behind the scenes on how I shoot it and you wanna see how I edit to get a final image like this one, you can go over to my Patreon page, which is patreon.com forward slash I am Josh Russell and check it out there. And I teach you exactly how I got from beginning to end on the photo. So let's get right into it right now. I already have my camera set up. It's at 1 over 320 f 2.0 ISO 200. It's a good range to start with. Uh, this is going to be kind of a quick video where you're going to touch base here and then we're going to go and shoot a different location too. So we're just going to start here. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you turn your chin just a little bit more, excuse me, forehead up this way. So down like this, right like that. Perfect. So as you can see, I'm getting a little bit of reflection from the lights behind. It looks really good. You can see the photo uh, come up this way just a little bit and tilt your head in. So like you're almost going to be like leaning into it. Okay. Head this way. There we go. What this is doing is just creating a nice, really dreamy look and it just looks really good. Got street lights on the cars behind. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you swap out and give me your glasses and put the sunglasses on. So what I'm trying to create with this is I'm trying to give it just a 80s uh, video game feel. Uh, the crazy neons, all oh, those look awesome. It looks so good. I'm a little bit in them, so I'm gonna have to create back here. Wow. Um, let me grab, I did park like right next to this place so I can just grab stuff. All right, so I switched it up now uh, a little bit. I just basically, I put sunglasses on her and I gave her my beanie to wear just to kind of give a little bit more of a urban feel to it and a, a techie, you know, a, what do you call them? Like gamer girl feel to it, so. Oh man, it looks so awesome. All right, so what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you close your lips. It's gonna feel kind of awkward, but it's gonna look good, trust me. So what I want you to do is head back up that way, a little bit more turn. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna give me a little bit of a pouty lips, but open your mouth just a little bit. A little bit more, there we go. And then keep your mouth open, but give me a nice little bit of a smirk. A little less. And then turn your head back towards me. You can see me in that, so turn back this way. I'm gonna change the color just a little bit here. So this LED, uh, RGB LED light painter can go pretty much any color you want. That's a little too Christmassy for me. Let's go right about there. Oh, I'm, still, I'm feeling the, the blue better. 151, I think is what it was. Let's go more there. And I'm gonna bring this right in. Somebody forgot to mute their phone and that was me. 
Turn your head up just a little bit more. Look at the kit or look at the. Here we go. Just trying to get a few different angles. I mean, they all look really, really good. You can see one hour. Uh, tilt your head down just a little bit. I'm going to try to get photo in your. So I'm trying to shoot from above. Get her in frame there. Oh man, it just looks so awesome. This is exactly what I thought it was going to look like. I mean, I'm going to put a couple on the screen right now. These look amazing. Uh, there's really not much more that I can do about this. Uh, actually, there is. Uh, so put your head back up here again. Take your back hand and uh, the other back hand, your left hand, and just pull the sunglasses down and like kind of just look over them. There we go. Now I got the photo in there. Take your head and turn it back towards me just a little bit. There we go. Wow. Crystal, you're making this easy for me. Now I'm going to just get a little bit further back, just get a longer one. So a little further back here, I can see the photo just so much more. Crazy. So that is this location. Now I'm gonna show you the final product right here. I'll show you the unedited right out of camera with the settings, and then I'll show you what I created. You're seeing it right now. Then we're gonna move to another location and see what we can do with just this light and maybe just some natural, uh, normal colored lighting. Okay, so one more thing I'm gonna do before we leave and go to the next location. I didn't even think about it, but the final image needs something on the left-hand side of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a picture of the, uh, the neons, but I'm gonna make it out of focus. That way I have something to use on the left-hand side, just kind of an overlay to give it a little bit more flare so it's not just so dark on the left-hand side. You've already seen the final product, but it's something that I thought of right before we left. So we're gonna get in here and take a photo. And we're gonna take another photo. And yes, I'm leaving the blue in there on purpose just to kind of give it more of a feel. And then I'm gonna pull the blue out and get one more. These are just gonna be layers, so it doesn't really matter even what it looks like, except for the fact that you can see the photo, which is really cool. There, so that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I got the shot and now I'm good to go. Now we can move to the next location. So that was just a snippet from my neon session. I hope you guys liked it. I went out last night and I did this and I wanted to get it up right away for you guys to learn how to do neon photography. If you like this, remember, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. If you want to learn more about how I edit it, once again, go to my Patreon page or just go to IamJoshRussell.com forward slash shoot like a boss or patreon.com forward slash I am Josh Russell. The links are in the description down below. I do really, really appreciate any love and support that you can give me in the form of joining my class. It helps me by helping you. I really love doing this stuff. So if you guys like this video and you want to learn more, go to the Patreon page and check it out. Also, remember that I have those free presets available on my website. That's links in the description down below too. Other than that, once again, I hope you liked it. Let me know. I'll talk to you later. Peace.